Judge is now considering whether to allow secret recordings made between Joseph Elledge and Meng Shiji. Prosecutors Dan Knight made several requests to the judge to both allow and exclude some evidence in the murder case against Elledge. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell joins us live after attending the hearing. She's there at the Boone County Courthouse. Layla, you heard both the prosecution and defense make their arguments on admitting some audio recordings of Elledge and Xi. Lucas, I was in the court today when Judge Brooke Jacobs said he would need to listen to those audio recordings first before making a decision whether they could be admitted into evidence in court. During the motion hearing today, prosecutor Dan Knight argued the audio recordings, two made by Munji G and ten made by Joseph Elledge, show Elledge's motive for murder. As I set forth in our motion, um, show motive. They also prove consciousness of guilt according to the motion, and they also provide context and meaning to other evidence in this case. The prosecution said the recordings made as early as 11 months before Munji's disappearance show the events that led to her death. Knight also said the recordings show Elledge may have lied to police and reporters after G went missing in October 2019. Knight planned on playing nine out of the 13 hours of recordings for a jury. All 13 hours along with the nine hours that, that we are proposing be uh, presented to the jury. The defense attorney Scott Rosenblum did not want to speak on camera but told the judge the tapes are hearsay. Rosenblum said the tapes do not show motive for murder but show arguments between a man and wife. Deb Lucas, a status hearing is scheduled for September 23rd, and at this point there is no information on when the judge will have made a decision on the recordings. For now, reporting live from the courthouse, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Layla, thank you. The trial is set for November 1st. Knight says he would oppose any request to push it back.